वेलकम बैक गाइस आफ्टर मेनी डेज आई अगेन डिसाइड टू मेक सम मोर वीडियोस अबाउट द एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम फार्मूलास ऑब्वियसली सम फार्मूलास अबाउट टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस सो द फार्मूला विल बी हियर अबाउट टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाइट एंड डिस्टेंस now height and distance formula are mostly based on trigonometric applications but time and distance formulas are the core mathematical part now uh, for understanding this time and distance it's very basic uh, basics of math now in this case you need to know the most important formula above all what we need to know is what is speed now what we know by speed is the total distance traveled over time right that's that's what we uh, always mean by speed so speed equals to the distance the distance traveled divided by the time taken to travel the distance that's called the speed now if you understand this equation you can derive more equation from this one uh, for example i can derive another equation like let's say time if i need to uh, find what is time the so time simply is equals to distance divided by speed right and similarly if i want to understand what is distance what is distance mean you know, distance equals to you, you can see speed multiplied by speed multiplied by time so once you know this formula that speed equals to distance over time everything is so simple now once it's done the second thing that we want to study is a very important thing that is also required because most of these problems are having challenges regarding the conversion of units because they can give you kilometer per hour unit sometimes they can give you meter per second unit so it's always a good idea to keep all those units in the same format because otherwise the prob it it creates a huge problem and you probably fail to uh, get the answer now for that reason we need to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second so how to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second now you can go for systematic approach that once you get the kilometer you can convert it into meter by multiplying it with 1000 then you can convert hour into second then divide it it's it's kind of a very uh, very time consuming so a single one way approach to do that is simply let's say x kilometer per hour it will be equals to x multiplied by 5 divided by 18 so 5 by 18 this meter per second so simply whatever kilometer per hour value that they provide you multiply it with 5 by 18 you will get the value into meter per second now similarly once you need to find this value from meter per second into the kilometer per hour so let's say x meter per second now we need to find the kilometer per hour value for that the answer will be again x multiplied by 18 by 5 is simply swap this this kilometer per hour so it's a one way conversion simply multiply it with 5 by 18 if you need to convert it kilometer into meter per second if you need to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour multiply it with 18 by 5 so in this sense it's there so now the third formula that i'm going to talk about uh is not required for all the problems that we are going to solve in letter but it is required for uh, many of the problems right so so let's solve this one let's solve let's look for this third uh, one now the formula is the ratio of the speed suppose suppose if the ratio of speed say ratio of speed of of a and b suppose is a is to b this is the ratio of speed so small a small b are the speed and capital a capital b are the person so the ratio of speeds of person a and b is a is to b which is small so if this is the case so the time taken by both a and b to travel the place will be now the time or ratio of time i must say ratio of time of both a and b is going to be 1 by a is to 1 by b or simply b is to a now this is very very important always the time taken to cover the speed will be opposite because you know speed if you are having higher speed 
you take less time to reach there if you require more time your speed is low right so that's why if you are having more speed so speed ratio and the time ratio will be opposite or inverse not opposite actually inverse of each other now the last uh, formula I'm going to talk about today is again not required in all the maths but uh, you might know that that suppose a man covers a certain distance because some problems you can find this thing that a man travels a certain distance suppose distance a uh, for for the speed of x kilometer per hour and that same person is traveling uh, the same uh, distance or the same distance at y kilometer per hour right so a, a single man is traveling two distances one at x kilometer per hour another at y kilometer per hour but remember the distance is same which is a right so if the distance is same and the person is traveling that distance in two different velocities in two different speed then what is going to be the average average speed of the person during the whole journey right so it's it's always it's it's kind of logical because you know we never always uh, walk to our uh, uh, an average constant speed we sometimes walk fast we sometimes walk slow but the same distance traveled once at x kilometer per hour another time y kilometer per hour so the total speed or average speed from the for the whole journey for that simple person will be the formula of 2xy divided by x plus y so this is going to be the total distance traveled and it will be obviously kilometer per hour so the speed or average speed of this person in this whole journey will be 2xy divided by x plus y that kilometer per hour or whatever you need that will be right so these are the four formulas that we require guys uh, no uh, tough situation for the time and distance problem we are going to solve three or four problems after that but that's that's kind of it and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.